ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern is joining us now. And Richard, I understand we finally had some direction on Wall Street today. Haley, you're absolutely right, and that direction was straight up early this morning. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up by 64 points, but be careful what you wish for. All these plus zero one and plus zero two are gone. Today, we had the worst day we've seen so far this year, and you have to go all the way back to September of last year before you find that all three indices we follow on a regular basis are down by at least 1%. But that was the case today, the low of the day, minus 252 points. Let's take a look at exactly how things closed. There you see the Dow at 20,668.01 a loss of almost 238 points, 1.14 percent, on heavy volume of 877 million shares. The Nasdaq, which had been up four days in a row and set an intraday record early this morning, down 108 points today, more than 1.8 percent, at 5,793.83, again on heavy volume of 1,919,000,000 shares. And the S&P, as you would expect, down one and a quarter percent, down 29 points at 2,344.02. Well, despite all the negative news, look at that red. Yes, today Apple came out and announced they have two new products, actually three if you count the iPad. There you see their red phone, and that phone will come as a 7 or a 7 Plus. The reason for the red is that Apple has a project red in which they donate the proceeds or the majority of the proceeds from the sale of these phones to AIDS in Africa, trying to both help solve the problem and treat the problem. Uh, shares of Apple, by the way, intraday, $142.80. That's an all-time high, although I'm afraid the stock closed a little bit lower than that number. But Operation Red is available, and you can buy your new phone as early as the 24th, which is Friday of this week. Almost looks like Wisconsin Red to me, yeah, too. Yeah, I think so. Uh, news on Chevron and Coca-Cola as well tonight, Richard. Yes, Scott, I tried to be a little more subtle with my tie today if I could. Uh, Chevron and Coke, the reason I talked about them, out of the 30 stocks that are in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, those were the only two that finished the day with gains. All right, Richard, thank you so much. You're welcome.